In the last video, you learned that thermal energy is the energy of moving particles. The faster the particles move, the more thermal energy a substance has. That's why hot things have fast-moving particles, and cooler things have slower-moving particles. And you also learned that heat is thermal energy on the move, always flowing from hot to cold, whether within an object or between objects. Like in this demonstration, where thermal energy moves from hot to cold as it melts the candles. In this video, we're going to explore one of the ways heat travels, conduction. Conduction happens when particles transfer energy by bumping into each other. In something hot, the particles are moving quickly. In something cold, the particles are moving more slowly. When the two touch, the fast-moving particles in the hotter object collide with the slower particles in the cooler object. During each collision, the faster particles lose a little energy, and the slower particles gain a little energy. This means the hotter object starts to cool down, while the cooler object warms up. This continues to occur until both objects reach the same temperature. At that point, the particles in each object are moving at the same average speed. A perfect example of conduction in action is a metal spoon placed in a glass of hot water. First, heat moves from the hot water into the cooler spoon because the fast-moving water particles collide with the slower-moving particles in the spoon. This causes the spoon to heat up and the water to slowly cool down. But another form of conduction is happening at the same time. Heat also travels along the spoon itself. The warmer particles at the bottom of the spoon bump into the particles next to them, passing on some of their energy. Those particles then bump into the next ones, and it keeps going, like a chain reaction, moving from the hotter end toward the cooler end. This continues until the energy is spread out evenly, and the entire spoon reaches the same temperature. Heat through conduction is happening around us, all the time like a pot heating up on a stove, or ice melting when you hold it. Heat moves from your warm hand into the colder ice, causing it to melt. But conduction isn't the only way heat can move. Convection carries heat through moving fluids like air and water, and radiation transfers heat through invisible waves, even across empty space. Check out the related videos to learn more.